And we see this in the prophet Jeremiah, the first people. Prophet Jeremiah is a man who is faithful to God. But because of, being, of his being faithful to God, he suffered its consequences, the bad consequences. So, Prophet Jeremiah, during this time, it was very difficult for Israel. And the Israel history was a difficult time. So if you imagine the map of Israel, the northern half of Israel has recently been conquered by Assyria, one kingdom. And only a small part of Israel remained free, that is Judah, the name of the place called Judah, where Jerusalem was located and where Jeremiah lived. And so it was a free place. But Judah was surrounded right between two powerful empires. Egypt in the south and Babylon in the north. So he was surrounded. So what did Jeremiah King do? So he was a prophet and he constantly reminded the people and rulers of Judah to trust in God, to be faithful to the word of the Lord. If the people obeyed God's commandments and instructions, God will protect them. It's very easy to but what the leaders did, what the people did, they did not listen. They, they only did what they wanted to do, not what God wanted them to do. So instead, they wanted to take matters into their own hands, to fight their own battles and arrange their own peace meetings, disregarding the plan of God. So they didn't want to depend on God. They don't want to obey God. So the king would ask Jeremiah for guidance. And Jeremiah, before answering, would pray. And would receive instructions to the Lord. And then he would give the instructions to the king. But the king would not listen. Although he asked, and so weird, you know, he asked him what to do. And he would do the exact opposite. And then God would ask Jeremiah to issue warnings calling the people to repentance, to repent of their sins. But they would not repent. So what happened to Judah? It was conquered by Babylon. Jerusalem was conquered. And the Jews were taken into exile. As a Muslim. Then what happened to Jeremiah? He was the scapegoat. Say, Pilipintang. They don't make us a lahat na lahat na pinasa. So they spread lies about him and mocked him, burned his writings and finally put him in prison. And even that he didn't silence him, they threw him down to hell so that he would starve to death. Masya na kayo kumuha ng babon ko. Sa panibasa. That's the cause, his consequence of being faithful to them. He was going against the world. And so must we, as Christians, as followers of Christ, we have to go against the world. And we have to be ready for the consequences. And that's why we have martyrs, martyrs, and all of you. In the second reading, we heard that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. The word martyr means witness. Because by their lives, they witness to the Lord. Now, we have heard many stories before of how they persecuted the Christians. So you have a lot of saints, you have a lot of martyrs. But even now, in the modern world, it's still hard to be a Christian. Well, it could be like with an exterior violence, for example, uh, when ISIS, you know, you remember ISIS, when they were persecuting the Christians and they made the Syria. Or if you have heard of Nigeria, of how the extremists 
kidnap school girls and force them to convert? Or now in Nicaragua, it's a blue news. You have heard Nicaragua, Latin America. The government is not keeping uh, cracking down the church. So we have now videos of people burning the church, destroying the church, burning the statues, destroying the stuff, all because they were preaching the gospel of Christ. Or it could be silent persecution that it could make people stop believing in Christ. For example, in the fashion, in the media, through false teachings, through false representations of Christ. Now let us talk about, okay, if we talk about abortion, if we talk about same-sex union, how do we get us speak about it? Because Jesus will accept it. Saan yun ang wahiyon? No, because we have to respect one another. Of course, yes, but we have to respect. Why respecting the will of the Lord? Otherwise, if we are claiming to be Christians, but we support abortion, same-sex union, the LGBT movement, can we still call ourselves followers of Christ? I will not speak about it because it's a Satan. They will cancel me. And that's what happened to Jeremiah. He spoke for the Lord when he was cancelled. And this is the consequence of becoming Christians. We are followers of Christ. And we did not invent Jesus Christ. If I were to make a church, for example, the one or if we are to make our own church, our church would be an easier church. Thank you. 